Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? I hope you are all well. Thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you for uh, keep coming back and watching me. I, um, I'm starting to see that I'm getting a lot more movement on my channel and it really helps um, to make me uh, have to make more videos for you guys and this has been fun. I'm loving it so much. Welcome, welcome to all my new followers. Um, welcome to all my uh, crafting buddies from around the world. I just want to say um, thank you. If you're new here, I am Donna Twist. That's how I got my name, Twisted Paper Studio. Twist and D on my um, my my last name and my first initial. Um, a lot of you are coming to me because I've made. Twisted Tangles, if you haven't already went over and saw the video for them, um, I'll just give you a little peek. Uh, these are them. I came up with them because they are twist. You can twist them back and forth. Twisted is my name. They're tangles. They're a mess. When they're on my little carousel, they all tangle up. I put them on tags, on journal cards, on gifts, on my Etsy shop orders. I put them everywhere. They use up your scraps. And all I really do basically is um, take some scraps. These are two pieces of scrap in my scrap bin. I glue them back to back. They're just to use up your scraps. And then I, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll put some, some scraps on this side too. And then I cut them into rectangular, rectangular looking strips. And that's really it. I put some scrap fabric, scrap buttons. I put them all on a bulb pin and they're just scraps. I emboss them as well. You don't have to emboss them, but um, I do. I emboss all mine. So those are my twisted tangles and a lot of you are liking them and I'm, I'm really, really excited about that. Um, let's get into my beautiful blessings. I do wish beautiful blessings to all of my new followers, my old followers, my old girlfriends, my, well, Leslie calls you girlfriends. Leslie's over at 507 Willow House Journals. If you're new here to my channel, you need to go check out Leslie. I will tag her below after the video's over. She is a hoot. I love her so much. She brings so much joy into watching your crafting. I, I, you have to go check her out. That's Leslie over at 507 Willow House Journals, and she calls you all girlfriends I've been calling you my crafting buddies that's what you are you're my crafting buddies I just, and I wish beautiful blessings every day I will start the day off by wishing beautiful blessings to life light and simple Liza Voris Sherry Boyle Lynn Hughes and Monica Galgani those are my beautiful blessings to you and then I have extra special beautiful blessings of course we still have in our prayers Junk journaling, Jen. Beautiful blessings, Jen. Keep going, keep going. And then um, a special blessings I have today because you guys always comment on my things. You make me smile, and I feel like I know you. But we, of course, we're just our, we're crafting buddies. So special blessings to Denise S, Cheryl Talifus, and Gloria Pollock. Special blessings to you three ladies. Very very special blessings. Okay, let's get into today. Um, I have a mess on my desk, of course. I was working on things, and, um, see, I work with roosters, too, not just bunnies. <laughs> okay, I am working with this, on this journal, the Long, Tall, Skinny Journal. Um, my past videos have been about that. You guys all had fun with the, um, painting, um, sample cards. I, I love them. Um. <clears throat> dragon dragon sun cards you made them so beautiful i put you up in my story on instagram you guys can find me also anywhere uh instagram tiktok facebook i have an etsy shop where i sell digitals and supplies paper packs and my handmade items and i figured we would work so this so th this book comes with a kit of the cover for a tall skinny journal. It also comes with paper for the inside for tall skinny 
tall, skinny size journaling paper. But then the kit also comes with a trifold size and trifold paper. So I figured let's make a trifold today to fit. We can put it in inside here in the pocket. But we're going to kind of recreate um, like a like an old like an old document. Oh look here I was working on a pink one. Of course because I like pink. I didn't finish it yet though. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Let me take a sip of my coffee. Hold on. Okay. Thank you very much. Alright. So this is pretty simple. I did not do I have the inside where you can print the inside cover. Um, let me see. It's here. So you can flip it over and print it in your printer. But I didn't do that on the trifold. Of course not, Donna. <laughs> so basically what I'm going to do is your document, you're going to put face down. And then you're going to take a bunch of papers a bunch of papers any kind of papers so I do have some originals here and then I have some ledger paper um, what else I have some copies I have some book page um, I have some more book page what else what else this is a pretty book page I like this color this falls apart so easily, but we will give it a try. I love the color. Sometimes it's better for decoupage or collaging. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of put these in haphazard order. Doesn't really necessarily need to be in any kind of order. Just somewhat pretty, you know? <laughs> and then, I'm going to put this in here. So let me get my ruler, tear it up, make it look good. I print my old documents on newspaper print. I have an Epson 2760 printer and it takes it, it takes it well. Come on now. That's all right. It makes it look, it makes it look more authentic when it rips all up like that. Okay, there, we'll do the bottom, there. And then um, to make the documents look old, you can take a pair of scissors. I have a tool, don't ask me where it is right this minute. You can take a pair of scissors and just scrape Scrape the sides of your newspaper print or your regular page. Be careful not to cut yourself. That's my that's my issue with things with, that are sharp. But you could just take a pair of scissors and rough it up. And then, like, if something over here was, I think there was, like, something in there before. So you could just take that and rip it. It doesn't need to be there. And it looks makes it look old. Then you can take some ink. I use Vintage Photo. There's also uh, a color that Tim Holtz makes that's like, um, uh, what do you call? Burlap. I think it's burlap. And that color looks nice too. Oh, and Kathy. Kathy. Kathy Lakin. You, um, you had asked me about the, the little Leslie clips. I call them Leslie clips. They are Tim Holtz brand. And I want to say, oh, look, all my little things are falling. Oh, look, I mentioned Leslie and the little book she gave me fell off. <laughs> Leslie. Um, they are called, uh, oh, they, I don't know what they're called. They're called mini paper clips and they're by Tim Holtz. H-O-L-T-Z. He's also in the craft in he makes craft things. Um, I think that if you have an Amazon, your Amazon would have it. Um, 
And then uh, if you follow me on Instagram, it's easier to message me back and forth. Or you can email me, twistedpaperstudio at gmail.com. Email me if you're having problems. I'll, I'll try to look a little bit deeper for you. Um, but I think that if you have an Amazon, try to find it in your Amazon there and see if that you can get it. They're Tim Holtz brand mini paper clips. Okay, so back to crafting. So what I'm going to do is just, um, I have these all facing upward. I am going to put them in some kind of order. I think that looks nice. And I'm going to clip them. Let's clip them so I can stay in place. Here. Right here is good. Just going to do one in the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to take my whole bunch. I'm going to use the small one to do this. And I'm going to just do, do it kind of like in the center. In that, you know, I'm going to do two. One on each side. I'm going to do like one here. And let me see. We'll, we'll make it even. Oops. So that's about two and three quarters away from the edge. So two and three quarters away from the edge. So right about there. And I'm gonna go there. Okay, so there's my two holes. And then I'm gonna take some breads. Um, you know, back in the scrapbooking days when we had our breads and we haven't used them in so long, why not? I have some silver ones. I'm going to use those. And you would just push your brad in and open it up. It's going to hold all these. Oh my goodness. I can't cut it. <laughs> this is funny. I'm going to do it first because. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to push it in. We'll try this again. And then close it up. That's how we're attaching these documents. And then I'm going to do the same over here. Push it in. Close it up. Okay. Now, this looks good. This one's hanging out just a little bit. So I'm going to just fold it over just just a tiny bit we don't want to lose any of that good document and then the rest I think it's hanging over just a little bit over here too we'll fold that in we'll fold it in even more make it look make it look authentic and we'll put it under like that let's put this one let's do the same and fold this in more. There we go. And then that's our ledger paper. I'm going to fold it up. So, um, do we need to fold this one? I'm going to take the tiny bit off the bottom on this one only because. We have it folded in so many places. I don't want to fold it on the bottom too. I'm just gonna rip it off. There we go. And then I'm gonna fold up the ledger paper so that it covers the documents. Oh, and there's like two, look at that. I gave two pieces of ledger paper in there. I meant to rip it off. I didn't. <laughs> And then I'm going to fold this up because I did already fold this once before. So it's already got its it's already got its fold in there. And then fold this over. There we go. And we have our little little document holder. So cute. And you guys can dress this up. Um we could do a few things to it to dress it up. Let's see. 
let's see what I got. I got this, this. Uh, what else do I have? I know I got more stuff. I always have more stuff. <coughs> always. I have too much, too much stuff. Okay. Come on. What else? I know I had these little things from yesterday. All these little blue things that I did not... Where? Oh, they're, they're over there. Okay. Hold on. I'll get them. They're over here. they are. Oh, look at a bunny. Oh, we'll put a bunny in there. I got to. I love bunnies. Okay. This is good. We'll use these three things. And maybe we will use some of this. Okay. So I'll just... Where's my ruler? Where'd it go? Zone in Okay, I'm just gonna clean these up real quick with the ruler. And, and you guys could do this with anything, you know, tri folds, uh, anything. You have a pretty piece of paper from another artist that you want to um, print out and put it into a tri fold. That would be nice. Um, Rachel at Roxy Creations has beautiful, beautiful digitals. Uh, I'll tag her below as well. Um, who else? Who else? Charter One, Sam Pool. They all have beautiful digitals. Um, but if you are new to this, <clears throat> you can use any kind of papers. You know what I was even thinking too? Uh, I'll show you. Wait. Like, you could even use uh, a music, a music uh, cover. Like, I have a bunch of these music cover sheets. You can use a music cover sheet as your trifold. And that way your documents would fit nice on the inside because these are a little bit bigger. And these are, some of them are sturdy. You may want to do that technique where I showed you how to, how to put the vellum on the one side. I would put it on the inside because the outside has a, has a coating on it. But you can use that. You can use scrapbooking paper. You can kind of use anything. Anything. This is your game. You play it. You make your own rules. Your own rules. There's no rules. No rules. Just play. Play, play, play. Okay. There's that. And let's... We have this. Let's get one of these. Why not? Um, I always think that says my son's name, Lou, L-O-U-E. I have to look up what Lou means in French, because I don't know. I would think it would mean the bathroom, but <laughs> the Lou, you know, I don't know. Unless I'm not even saying it right. Maybe I am. Okay, if anyone knows, let me know. If you guys are watching my video, you know, like it and, and comment. Uh, t say hi. <laughs> I see, I get so many views, but <clears throat> there's not that many that put a like or a comment on there. I mean, there are. There are those few. My girlfriends. My, my crafting buddies. But the rest of you, give me a like. Say hello. Don't be shy. Okay, good just want to get the white off and now let's see I did oh we want this tag yes I want it I want the tag and I'll show you what I'm gonna do this is just a little quick a little quick thing to get your <clears throat> to get your creative juices going you know 
You guys probably have already seen stuff like this, or or maybe you haven't. You're new. That's okay. All right, so I have a little tag here. I'm just going to um, rough it up. Rough, 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 rough. And this is white on the back because I didn't use any special paper. So, I mean, in order to get it uh, looking old, you probably wouldn't print it on white paper. And if you did, you'd coffee dye it. <laughs> That's what they do. Coffee dye things to get it to look old. Okay, so we have this, this, these little tags. So, we can do some fun things with that. Let me, um, let me take this out here. There. And this is on newspaper print, so it makes it feel, you know, old. And it just has a different feeling to it. I love it. I print a lot of stuff out on, on newspaper. And you can buy it on Amazon. <clears throat> it's buy it in the pack, though. Don't buy it in the 8.5 by 11 paper pack like... I think it's, it comes in a pack, you know, it looks like craft paper or, uh, oh, what's that paper? Yeah, it looks like craft paper. You don't want to buy the package, Karin, because then you got to cut it down and it's a little bit more flimsy. It's, it's not, it doesn't work like this does. This came in like eight and a half by 11 sheets. Okay. So now we have our, our document here. And um, let's take some, let's take some of these, put it this way, and I'm going to save that one, this one, mm, this one. And then all I'm going to do is clip it again, whoopsie, I'm going to put it over here on this side like that and we're just having fun guys that's all we're doing we're having fun and I'm going to get out my oh my big needle that everybody commented on <clears throat> you guys like that I got it from Michaels here in the states I don't know I don't know what it's for to be honest I have no idea um, I used to work at Michael's part-time with a full-time job plus doing my business that I used to um, make invitations and uh, decorate for parties. <laughs> I was a go-getter. Um, I was a single mom with three kids. But um, I worked at Michael's because of their discount because <laughs> I was a crafter. And I just, I was, I got everything on sale. I always knew when the sales were. Hold on, I'm getting my, I'm getting my uh, piece of paper here because I want to ink this up. I'm just inking this up to make it look old. It's white. Yeah, but I got those big needles at Michael's and I, and I don't, they're in the sewing section. I don't know what they're for. Maybe a tapestry? No, I don't know. I honestly don't know. <clears throat> I don't recall what the, um what the package said but it helps me because my hands cramp um, as you all know I have some some uh, plates in my wrist it was it was shattered my wrist was shattered <clears throat> so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put a hole in here with my needle and then I'm just gonna sew this up like that. That's how I'm gonna attach those things. I bring the string down here <clears throat> and I will tie a knot. A knot like that. There we go. And then cut off the ends like that. Take the clip off now and bring this around so the knot's on the inside. There we go. Now we have those on there. And 
Here. And it's got a little tie back there. And you open it up, it has those little documents in there. Aren't those cute? Love it, love it. All right, let's not stop there, right? Let's get all office -y here. Um, we need Louie to sign his dotted, on the dotted line there on his name. So we're just going to put this on here. Come on, ya. Yeah. Just on the corner. Not gluing the whole thing down. Just a little bit. There. It'll dry. And then only one part of it will be attached. <clears throat> uh, maybe we want somebody to come and look at this paper here. Right there. So we'll do that right there. Just put it a little bit in. Not far, so it's not sticking out. We'll do that one. And, hmm, how about here? What could we do here? Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Ha ha. I'm going to pause the camera for a second, but I'll be right back. And then, and then we'll do right here. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So I, I wanted to get it all set up before I come back. But this is my idea. If you all, if any of you have these wax seals, they're so fun to play with. And I figured, why not? <clears throat> Let's put these on at the bottom with a wax seal. Um, I'm going to take the little piece that I <clears throat> that I cut out of the um, the little ephemera kit that um, I've listed below. I'll list it again today because I'm using some of the things in there. And I took a little piece of real document paper and I'm just going to put it here at the bottom of this ledger paper and then I have a stamp here uh, it's it's antique but can you believe it it has TP twisted paper studio no s but TP my sister she when I first got it she made fun of me she said it was toilet paper but it's not it's twisted paper <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, wax on here so that I could do my TP and I'll just hold it in place just like the old days it should be dry There we go. Look at that. Isn't it so neat? And now, when this dries, we can fold it up. This looks pretty awesome to me, you guys. I mean, it kind of looks like a real document, if I don't say so myself. Um, there's so many other things we can do, really. Um, off the top of my head, right this second, I wasn't planned for that. I don't even know how long this video has been. I was only planning for this little this little tutorial right now. Let me let that dry so I can fold it up and maybe we can decorate the outside a little bit. I'm gonna blow this out. Oh, little trick. If you have this set up here and you blow it out, don't put this back on top because it will wax to it. Lessons learned many, many times. Put it on the side. I have a little piece of marble that my sister gave me and I put it on there okay this should be dry now let's see are you are you, are you? yes here let's put a little um oh let's take a little piece of paper while I still have some wax and put some lavender <clears throat> on it why not it's still wet I mean it's still hot so I'm gonna do that I'll put that in there oh where'd you go where's my TP oh I'm gonna press it down because 
because the lavender is, you know, high up. It's not flat to the table. Hopefully it took. If not, oh well, no biggie. No biggie. It did. Oh, look how cute. I love it. That's so cute. Okay, we'll put it in there. We'll put it, no, we'll do, we'll put it on the front when I cover it up, when I close it up. I just don't wanna, okay, that's good. So let's smush this in here. Close this here, close this here. Hmm, what do we wanna put on the outside? <gasps> the bunny, we forgot the bunny. I wanted to put the bunny on there somewhere. He matches the colors and I'm a bunny fanatic. <clears throat> I really am. And Beatrix Potter has been around for a long, long time, so he can go in a French document, okay? He's allowed. He really is. Back up there. Okay. I like him. Maybe just a little bit off here. A little more off here. All right, now what am I gonna do with him? What? What I don't know. Use my closure. No. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't really go with the rest of the the rest of the documents. Maybe we'll just put him in here, like that. I think it looks cute. Let's just put him in there. He doesn't really need much of anything. He's Beatrix Potter. Peter Rabbit. He looks cute in there anyway. And besides, if you're buying from me, you know there's a bunny somewhere. <laughs> or if you're getting something from me. Um, let's see. Hmm. I wanted to put something on the back, but maybe it's just too much. <coughs> possibly, Donna. Possibly. Possibly it's just too much, you know? No. It's never enough. Um, how about... No. No. I'm looking for more of the paper that I had with all the with all of the writing. How about an old flower? A little flower. I like that. Let's do that. Take this one. This this is also in my in my shop. <clears throat> Um, very old, um, French flower illustrations. I'm going to, um, ink it up. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna. I mm, don't know where my ink went. Oh. Oh my god. It, seriously, you guys, it could have hit me in the head that it was right in front of me. Ink this up here. Okay. I'm just going to put this right here in the back. In the middle. That's good. Just to give it a little something something back there. A little something something. That's lovely Lady Leslie's name, word. Something something. Okay. I'm going to put it right here. Right in the middle. Um... I need a card. I think they're all in my drawer. Oh, goodness. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I like it. And then, and then on the front, we'll put this. Why not? And then we'll, 
we'll put a piece of twine around it. We'll wrap it up and we'll put it in the journal in a pocket. How's that sound? I think, I think it's cute. Let's do that. But we're gonna take, we'll do it a little differently. We won't tie a bow. We'll make it look more rustic. So we're just gonna tie this around like that together and bring through the loop. Just two sides, one loop. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna bring it through again. We want it to look more rustic. If they'll cooperate with me, I'll do that again. I gotta breathe closer. So I'm taking both, both strings and bringing it through like that. It's like a little loopy knot. And then I'll put this in there like that. Take off these tassels. Oh, I love it. How about we put this uh, to the side? Oh, beautiful. Isn't that so cute? And then we'll put it in our journal. <sighs> Hello, journal. Where are you? Here you are. Guys, it's coming out so grand. It really is. It's filling up. I have, I have lavender everywhere. Because I was wrapping a order and I wrapped it with I put some lavender sprigs in there. It's always nice to get lavender sprigs, don't you think? Okay. Let me put this right here. Is it gonna fit? No. It's not. Um, towards the back. Put it towards the back. Just like that gonna be in there we'll we'll secure it possibly I will take oh yeah we could use one of these they're always good to use one of these one of these big you know those really crabby claw <laughs> look I love it oh gorgeous so that's my tutorial today you guys fun right just have fun have fun people all right so uh beautiful blessings to you all thank you for watching if you're not already subscribed and you like my content it would really help me out if you click the like and subscribe to my channel maybe comment on it um it would help me get into the algorithm as well and i would love to do that and then also i could keep making more content for you guys i would have a uh, purpose and reason and i would love to do that this does take up a lot of my time and i do have to go into town it does take me a few hours to upload a video so i have to do that every day or you know i gather up a few videos and do that for you but um yes if you if you'd like me to um continue that and you could help me out by subscribing and liking and maybe hitting the little bell letting me know um letting you know when i post more videos thank you so much have a beautiful 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 blessed rest of your day bye for now i'll see you soon